Washington family. Happy Monday, a May, 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 May 4th. Happy May, everyone. It's a beautiful morning. I miss you all. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, and today it's even more beautiful and more special because it's Teacher Appreciation Week. Woo! Let me hear it for our amazing teachers. Woo! <laughs> May 4th through the May 8th, everyone, is Teacher Appreciation Week. And this week, just like every week, we have to thank our wonderful teachers for all their work, all their hard work um, that they do each and every day, not only when we are at school, but especially now, right, that we're doing distance learning. And even when we were at school, the, the job never ends, right? Our teachers are always going home with extra work, grading papers, uh, checking up on students who maybe didn't come to school because they were feeling sick. Just overall, for everything that they do, we could never thank them enough. So, this morning, before I read aloud, let me give a few shout outs. Let's see, we have in the house, Angie, good morning. Good morning, Mishka and Gio. Hi, Giovanni, good morning. Uh, I'm sorry, Jonathan. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Susana. Uh, let's see, Paola, good morning. Good morning, Camila. Good morning, Sylvia. Good morning, Miguel. Thank you for joining us. And join me, Bobcats. We want to give our teachers a special shout out this morning. Um, today, we are celebrating our teachers, Washington's teachers are the world's best teachers. Woo! Woo! Here we go. Let's give some shout outs. Are you ready? Let's let's uh, join me, okay? Here we go. Shout out to Miss Gonzalez. Woo! Yay! Shout out to Miss Perez Roda. Woo! Shout out to Miss Osuna. Woo! Shout out to Mr. Miramonte. Yippee! Woo! Shout out to Miss Tally. Woo! Shout out to Miss Jackson. Woo! Shout out to Miss Hernandez. Woo! Shout out to Miss Corrigan. Woo! Shout out to Miss Jones. Woo! Shout out to Mr. Nuno. Woo! Shout out to Miss Zavala. Woo! Shout out to Miss Rodriguez. Yay! Are you able to see? Okay, perfect. Have you 
ever taught somebody something? That's what teachers do. Teachers are people who help us learn new things. Without teachers, we would have to learn everything by ourselves. A good teacher makes learning interesting and fun. That's right. Most teachers work in a classroom. The people they teach are called students. Some teachers work in classrooms with many students. Other teachers work with only a few students. This student is learning to write. Her teacher writes new words on a chalkboard. She makes sure all the students are paying attention. She wants them to understand what she is teaching them. That's right, Bobcats. You know, a teacher, like many of our teachers who have 30 students, it's very important that the teacher has good classroom management to ensure that everybody's focused and everybody's paying attention. It's hard, it's very hard, right? Because sometimes we can easily lose focus, but our amazing teachers are so good at that. And, um, and this is part of what they do every day. Teachers use many tools to help them teach. They teach with books and videos. They use pictures, maps, and bulletin boards. Computers and the internet help teachers and students find the information they need. All right. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Georgina. All right, they're giving a shout out to Miss Jackson. I think Mrs. Savalsa is joining us. Happy Teacher Appreciation Day, Mrs. Savalsa. We love you. <laughs> Sometimes teachers take their students on a field trip. This teacher is helping his students learn about spiders. He is using the outdoors as his classroom. Ooh, doesn't this remind you of Dr. Morales, right? <laughs> Dr. Morales has been taking us to his beautiful garden to learn about different plants and, and insects and animals. Gym teachers show students how to play games and do exercises. In nice weather, everyone likes to go outside for gym class. What's our gym class? Do you all remember Bobcats? Starts with the letter T. Think together. We miss Think Together, right? All the fun activities they planned for us. This science teacher is in a classroom called a laboratory. He is teaching his students how to do special tests called experiments. What will this experiment teach them? A lot of our Bobcats did some amazing science experiments, right? It was unfortunate that we couldn't have our science fair, but you all did an amazing job exploring and finding out new things. Our amazing scientist. Teachers often work after school. Mm -hmm. At home, they plan what they will teach the next day. They correct tests and papers. They read books, lots of books. That's right. Their work never ends, Bobcats, are hardworking teachers. People who want to be teachers study at a college or university. They have to pass special tests. They go to school for a long time before they can teach. They also have to practice teaching a class. Good teachers are smart. They are kind and friendly. The best teachers are always interested in learning more. Teachers are often active and work hard. Not all teachers teach in schools. Music teachers often teach in their own homes. Swimming teachers teach at the swimming pool. 
Where else do you find teachers? Where else do we find teachers, Bobcats? Hmm. Yes. Coaches for like sports, like there are soccer teachers too, coaches, right? like soccer coaches, basketball, baseball, baseball. Yes, they're teaching you skills. That's right. People like to learn new things all their lives. Even grown-ups need teachers sometimes. This exercise class looks like fun. Learning never stops, Bobcats, right? Mm -hmm. We always learn from, from uh, teachers and, and just different mentors and coaches. Teaching is a hard job. Yes, it is. But it can also be satisfying, too. People will always need teachers. Who is your favorite teacher? <laughs> the end. Yay! All right. This is the end of our story. So Bobcats, let's show our wonderful teachers extra love this week. Uh, we sent everyone, uh, we have a, a Teacher Appreciation Spirit Week this week, so make sure that we, sorry, that's my, my doggy lino, right? Let me see, I'm trying to find the, um, the, the flyer where we, where we, um, it's probably the mailman who's, who's coming over. One second, Bobcats. Today is Monday. Lino. Okay, give me one second, Bobcats. Today we want to give our teachers a smile. My computer is very slow. Sorry, 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 sorry. We want to... We want to try to be silly today and we want to send our teachers our favorite joke. So think of your favorite joke. Uh, you can record yourself doing a silly dance or wear a funny outfit. So you can take a picture or record yourself and you can send it directly to your teacher and also share it with us so that we can post it, Bobcats. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we are working on writing a note or a poem to our teacher to express how thankful we are for them. Uh, Wednesday, we're gonna get some chalk and we're gonna create a sidewalk chalk art for our teacher. Get creative, Bobcats. Take pictures and send them to your teachers, okay? This Thursday, find out what your teacher's favorite color is and let's wear our teacher's favorite color or even dress up like a teacher this Thursday. And finally, Friday, is Funny Face Friday. Choose your favorite silly photo filter or make a funny face to end the week with a smile. Okay, let's show our teachers some love. We love our amazing teachers. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for all your hard work. We appreciate you. And Bobcats, let's make it a great week, okay? Take care. I love you. I miss you. Mwah. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week to all of our teachers. Bye-bye, everyone.